Hi, I'm Ryan Moore, uh, one of the coaches with Achieve PTC. Today we're going to talk a little bit about bike fit. Uh, we have a lecture next week that I'd like to invite everyone to as well. We'll have more info on that later. But for today, we're just going to sit down, chat a little bit about my overall philosophy about bike fit, talk about common misconceptions, maybe answer a couple of questions. A little about myself, uh, I've been bike fitting since about 2009. I'm a master bike fitter. Uh, I've done roughly three to 4,000 fits over the course of my career so far. So definitely I've seen a lot and I'd love to kind of help out and, and expand people's knowledge on fit in their bodies. My philosophy on fit, I try to have it be inclusive of every factor that can come to mind, whether that's lifestyle, um, certainly mobility and stability are probably the two biggest parts of the equation, but really to really simplify things down and boil it down, I'm just trying to get that rider's body on the bike in as neutral a position as possible. Uh, so for someone that has maybe a lot of previous injuries, mobility restrictions, stability issues, uh, it can be harder to get them neutral. You have to be a little more accommodative. For some of us that have fewer of those issues, we can be a little bit more optimal. And that's kind of the range. So whether I'm setting saddle height or looking to correct some asymmetry that's presenting itself on the bike or whatever, I'm constantly going between that range of accommodation and optimization and try to hone that adjustment uh, to, be to best fit that rider's needs. Bike fit matters because you're on it. Uh, there's very few sports that I can think of when you're literally strapped in and attached to a piece of equipment for hours at a time. So really it has to be fine-tuned to what's going on in your body or you're gonna run into injuries or at the very least compensatory movement or a lack of you know, power uh, and, and inefficiencies will come up. So it's really just about getting you to make the most of your training and the most of your body. I could talk about bike fit misconceptions for way longer than the time we have here, even longer than I have time in the lecture next week. Uh, so I'll just talk about the main one. The biggest misconception I have around bike fit, and I blame this on just how the industry is run, is there is no such thing as an aggressive bike fit or a relaxed bike fit. There is what is appropriate for that rider, right? So if someone, for example, has a super short torso, short arms, yeah, their front end of the bike is gonna be a little higher than someone else, but their torso angle or what have you may be just as low and, and aggressive as someone who has a ton of handlebar drop. Um, so really like the relaxed or, or race fit geometry just drives me mad because they're really taking out the most important part of that equation, and that's the rider's body. And if you're not aware of that, you're, you're lost and that needs to come first. So uh, hopefully you enjoyed that super short discussion slash intro on, on bike fit. If you're more interested in getting more information, we are hosting a lecture 7 p.m. on Thursday, March 9th. That's for all Achieve athletes. Uh, for the non-Achieve athletes, we will be live streaming the lecture on our Instagram account. So uh, definitely tune into that. There's gonna be a huge Q&A portion, which I think is probably the most engaging and valuable part of doing a lecture because I'm actually able to field the questions that uh, people have. So yeah, check us out. Thanks a lot.